Trey Lance is going to be getting his first extended reps with the starters at OTAs. I'm going to see it for the first time tomorrow, Tuesday. To me, I think it's really interesting. Like, I charted every freaking throw he did in 11-on-11s 11 in training camp last year. He completed 69% of his throws. His TD to INT ratio was 3-to-1. It wasn't good yeah. enough, apparently. No. Like, the spreadsheet said <laughs> in certain situations it wasn't good enough, like two-minute drill or whatever. Like, the, he's going to get nitpicked to death. So, it just, to me, it has to look right. <laughs> it's not necessarily what the numbers say. He kind of has to carry himself. He has to sound a certain way in the huddle. He's got to sort of like play the part and convince his teammates and, the, and everyone watching that he's comfortable and has like the year under his belt actually has helped him. And he, he has to like take command of the offense. And I don't even know what that looks like. And everyone's going to have a different opinion on whether he's done it, but that's, he sort of has to like do this sort of vague intangible thing. He has to take command. He has to look like a veteran who's in command of the offense. I don't know what that looks like. I guess we'll see. Yeah, it's. I think. <clears throat> I think or just a bunch of big plays every day. I don't know. What do you What do you think? As far um, as the co the command thing, I think really the the coaches and the players are really only going to know that answer, right? Because right, um, they're in tune with what with what's schedule. going on. It's going to be it's going to be little things like you're and you're not going to be able to pick them up whether if he doesn't understand the concept or he's he's not familiar with the play. Um, is he is he able to relay? Um, you know, certain concepts uh, to people that aren't familiar with them, you know, like rookies and, and new signings, things like that. And I don't know that you'll be able to tell that, but other, but other players and, and coaches certainly will. Um, so you're only going to be able to, to, you're only going to be evaluating what you kind of see on the field. And that's what you just said, big plays. Um, I think I, what I would like to see is, is, is him not turn the ball over. Cause that seems to, that's been kind of his mo, and we'd like to. I'd like to see it continue, um, because if it does continue, then it seems like that that is that that's part of his play style, and and that would be um, ideal. Yes, agree. There's more. I mean, I feel like what I like what I like to do here um, in the off season is, or in football in general, you evaluate the player, of course, but then you also have to step back and evaluate how he's being used. And I, this isn't like a good or bad, but like I'm curious to see what Kyle's going to do with him. Because last year, the way it looked to me was he started off with a bang. All the reports on Trey Lance were very positive at the beginning of training camp. He had him, you know, throwing deep, doing play action, rolling out, the stuff that he excels at. Then when that got a little too loud, they put him in the gun and had him throw in a bunch of Jimmy Garoppolo stuff. And that's when the competition got tight. So, and, I, and the way they, and that's how they use him in the preseason too. And the justification was, well, this is the time to work on your weaknesses. Fine. But if there's a competition, you're setting one guy up for success and one guy up to look bad. I'd like to see – how does Kyle Shanahan approach Trey this year? Do you do that again? Is it time to work on his weaknesses? Or are you going to come out first time in front of the press with him as the first team often, uh, quarterback and try to really impress people? Are you going to play to his strengths? Are you going to call a lot of play action stuff? Because when you do, it's very impressive, and people usually go, oh, wow, Trey Lance, oh, my God. Like, what kind of response does Kyle Shanahan want? Because he can pretty much choreograph whatever he wants. Yeah, and, and honestly, like, I I wouldn't be concerned about, like, I, if, I, if I was Kyle, like, I really wouldn't give a shit about what you or I thought or anything like that. What I would be trying to choreograph, if I would want my roster to, to, to start buying in into Trey Lance. If anybody's on the fence or anything like that, I need them to I need them to buy it. It sounds like George Kittle's saying the right things, but is that what he really feels like internally? I don't know. True. Um True. and and you know there's other guys and probably in the same boat, but you need those guys to, to really buy in. Like you don't need Grant Cohn to buy into to to, to, to Trey Lance. It, you know how it is like when you're watching a practice like there's an energy everyone kind of feels if a guy's playing well or not. I mean can you win over the people it's not just the fan it's not just your team but it's like the front office, it's the owner if he's out there. Can you really win people over? Or are, there, are people going to go back and be like, well, you know, he has some good series, he has a bad series. Ah, eh, ah, eh. You know? Um, the bar is Jimmy Garoppolo, so. Well, what's tough for, it, it, for Trey is that Jimmy Garoppolo is a horrendous. Yeah. Um, horrendous practice quarterback. But so he's not going to be judged on what he does this offseason, if, he, if he's even there. It doesn't matter. 
because his record speaks for itself. Trey has no record, so every single thing he does, every step he takes, every every breath he takes, <laughs> every they'll, be, he makes. they'll be second guessing him. Is basically what's going to happen this year. So I, you know, it's going to be a lot of that. He's under the microscope. Jimmy's not. Jimmy has a winning record. Jimmy's everyone knows Jimmy's terrible in practice. He's working on stuff that he never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that he never. <laughs> That he never fixes. Anyway, so that's what I'm looking for with Trey. Of course, have you improved? Do you look like a guy who's been in the system for a year, essentially? Because I know you uh, you put up good numbers in camp last year, but you looked like a rookie. Uh, you looked a little, you know, like you were tense, like you were pressing a lot. When you missed, you missed wildly. Do you look more comfortable, more calm? But more importantly, how does Kyle use – is Kyle in his bag, so to speak, when he's calling plays for you? Or is he like, I don't really know it works? I mean, I would like to see. I would. I would like to see if that, if that wobble isn't isn't there. If, if the wobble. If he's worked. If he's worked on that. Um, he's had. Yeah. Some, he's had. He's had a little bit of issues with his with his throwing motion. Did he clean that up a little bit? Yep. Um, he's been working on it, right? He wants Tom House, right? So what's that look right. like? So yep. let's see. Is it is it cleaned up? Because this, you know, if it's cleaned up, it would be, it would have been cleaned up by this time. Because um, you only have what two months. The less than less than two months till till they report, right? Also, also, he knows that he's under the microscope. He does. He, he knows that his completion percentage is going to be printed by into every every outlet at daily. How does that impact him? Is he going <laughs> to be out there playing conservatively uh, because he wants to say that he completed seventy percent of his throws, or is he going to let it rip? Because I'm telling you, these things can get to a quarterback. You know, they can affect how you perform. Curious. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, playing yeah. quarterback in the NFL is not for the faint of heart. Like, no. you know, so and certainly no. not in this franchise. You know, where you where the, the history in that position and um, and you've got a fan base that's been dying for for a quarterback for for a while. Um, you know, more or less since Steve Young, right? Um, yes. I mean, Jeff Garcia was very good, but he he wasn't he wasn't on that level, right? The the Young and the Montana level. Yes. So, uh, there is a certain a certain. There definitely is a pressure that comes with an, with an NFL quarterback. But then playing for the 49ers, it's, it's an even added pressure. Uh, okay. So, but I think he's equipped. I think he's equipped to handle it. I, I we'll we'll see if we'll see if um, you know things pan out with him. But I I don't think I don't think it'll if he doesn't if he fails I don't think it'll be because he can't handle the pressure. Wouldn't you love to know what he thinks privately? I mean, it's possible privately he's thinking, guys, come on. All I have to do is be better than Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys all worried about? Like, I've been better than Jimmy Garoppolo. It's and like, you know, you know, I can I can actually make a 40-yard throw. Yeah. You know, like, I can do that. Yeah, once Kyle Shanahan takes the handcuffs off me and lets me actually play my game in practice, it's over. Everyone's going to want me to be the quarterback, and no one's going to be clamoring for Jimmy. It's possible. 